here's an example. Um, oh, and also I want to tell you, there's another short video at the same website that I told you in the last lecture on naming ionic compounds and ions, identifying charges on ions and naming ionic compounds. So I went through this very quickly because I have a limited amount of time on this video, but there's another video at this site where you can get this information again. Um, it's a five minute video. All right, so let's practice naming, um, or excuse me, writing formulas based on the name. So this, the name of this ionic compound, I know it's an ionic compound first of all because it's a metal and a non-metal. And I know that those are metals and non-metals because I'm gonna look on the periodic table manganese, 